advocates call for the removal of Australia's HIV visa restrictions. Welcome back. Today, we are going to talk about an issue that's been catching quite a bit of attention in Australia. It's all about the visa restrictions for folks living with HIV. Let's get to it. Want to stay in the loop? Don't forget to subscribe to our official Telegram channel to stay connected with us at all times. Click the link in the description or the pinned comment below. Now, Australia is one of the handful of countries that still put up roadblocks on visas for people living with HIV. But change could be on the horizon. There are now strong advocates urging the government to lift these restrictions. Why, you ask? They believe these policies perpetuate stigma and may actually slow down efforts to stop the transmission of the virus. Let's start decoding the current visa hurdles. Let's get into the specifics of the current rules. If you're applying for Australian permanent residency, you need to go through a cost analysis. This is a check to see if your healthcare costs will go beyond what the government calls a significant cost threshold. Here's where it gets tricky. The medicines used to manage HIV, called antiretrovirals, cost about $11,000 per year. This is almost twice the government's threshold. So, anyone with HIV automatically exceeds it. So what are the ripple effects of the rules? Now, these policies can have serious consequences. They can lead to privacy concerns, as some people may have to disclose their HIV status to their employers. They might even force people to remain in harmful or exploitative situations just to dodge getting tested. Advocates argue that these rules are outdated and haven't kept pace with the leaps Australia's made in science. This includes affordable and effective treatments for HIV that are now available. Let's look into the growing demand for reform. So what's next? Advocates are seizing the opportunity at the International AIDS Society's annual conference to demand the government roll back these laws. They firmly believe that if Australia wants to lead the way and become the first country to almost completely stop community transmission of HIV, they have to rethink their immigration policy. So, keep watching this space to find out if the Australian government would come up with any changes. That's all from us for today. You can support our channel by sharing our videos with your friends, family, or on social media platforms. Thanks for watching.